Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I found an amazing article here from the New York Times that basically is saying that uh, there's no, there's no uh, crash coming, not anytime soon. Uh, so what's happening? Basically, we have amazing jobs report, okay? People are working and here's the thing, people are spending. People are, are making the money and spending it. Even though we have high inflation, even though our eggs are through the roof, even though you know everything is still very expensive, even housing, people are still spending money. Everybody is working and everyone is spending it. So what's that doing is keeping the prices high, is keeping inflation high. So the, uh, the feds recently raised the rates again, uh, only a quarter. And it's been, what, 11 solid uh, raises, uh, something like that. So uh, right here, it's been uh, the eighth increase in 11 months. Sorry about that. So we went from 4.5 to 4.75. Again, the eighth increase in the, in 11 months, which is kind of a big deal, right? So we, uh, we have really high mortgage rates. But now mortgage rates actually uh, decided to cool off a little bit in the last week. So we're now down to 6.9. They were like at six point where is it it was uh right here it was we came from 6.13 and now we're down to 6.09 so there you know here's what the article says that at this rate we're still not going to see a lot of uh home buyers jump in we will see them jump in when we hit that five to five point five so that could happen pretty quickly here um but here's the problem Home prices are somewhat going sideways. People are not, like pe more homes are being sold at or below list price, which is a good sign, uh, especially the ones that are below list price. But you know what? Many sellers are just not budging. Remember, in the last two years, you were able to get interest rates down in the twos. So you know if anybody is looking to sell their house and maybe upgrade you know, a, a house or, or do whatever, they know that, Basically, when they move into somewhere else, they're going to have to pay a lot of money for that property in interest rates. So a lot of people are not ready to sell. Uh, and again, that mark is about 5.5. So, you know, there was so much talk about that economy, you know, crashing because all the money that they printed out. And what this uh, article is basically saying that some people just believe that the best situation will be that the economy does cool off but it cools off really slowly right so maybe you know uh we won't have like a sharp crash um everything is looking towards that because right now unless you know we keep employment really high uh things are gonna get high remember we owe a lot of money and if we can't pay that money back you know we're gonna have problems now if people are making more money technically you know the government will collect more tax money and hopefully we could cut spending and uh, we could, you know, you, we might have to raise taxes in some some areas, even though we're I feel like we're taxed to death already. But again, uh, we need to bring down the national debt because that is basically our credit rating is at stake. And, if, you know, if we lose our credit rating, then you know that the feds are going to have to have even the Federal Reserve will have to uh, have even higher interest rates. Because, you know, we basically default and it's very terrible for the economy. So all eyes on that. But I honestly, from what I'm seeing, it looks like smooth sailing until the till probably June where uh, they're going to that Congress is going to be voting on the debt limit. Right. We'll see how that plays out. But in but right now, you know, people are working. There's some people with good jobs and people are taking advantage. Now, they talk about this first lady over here. It's kind of crazy, but she moved from um, the West Coast over to Brooklyn and she closed on a house for almost a million dollars. And it's crazy. So what, look, $975,000 for a one bedroom apartment in Crown Heights. Now I'm sure Crown Heights is a nice neighborhood, but you know what she is, tells you what she is right here. She's a public relations executive, right? So how many public relation executives are there? How many people can afford a $900,000, $1 million house? Taxes on that are through the roof. I mean, it just feels like everything is super, super expensive. And I'm feeling like an old, like I'm way too old. You know, I'm like, man, that used to cost, you know, 500000 Now it's a million. And I thought it was expensive at 500000 But the truth is that 
it doesn't look like prices are going to be coming down anytime soon as like, you know, big picture, right? Like we might see avocados, we might see milk come down in price a little bit here and there. But as a whole, you know, when people are making more money at work, you got to keep those prices up. Now, how's everything going to change with this new AI revolution that we're seeing? Uh, I have no idea, but it is going to change. Uh, you know, this like chat GPT, if you've heard about it, it's basically taking over. It's really taking over. And, uh, you know, we'll see what the job market does in the future. But right now, it looks like uh, we got smooth sailing. Like if we're uh, in an airplane traveling a long distance and the captain says, OK, everybody, you know, you can relax. We got no turbulence ahead. It's looking that way. Every indication I'm seeing is pointing at that direction. So hope this uh, article and this uh, video is good for you guys. I hope you got entertained. Now, if you guys like these videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.